Hello and welcome to Tharaik Place Darkest Dungeon. The following episode was recorded during one of my live streams on Twitch, so without further ado, let's jump into the episode. And yeah, let's get into the next mission. Okay, nice ruins are getting there. What do we have available? Don't really need that. Of course, we've got it all. So these ones are... A Dazzling Charm is fine, but I'd like to do a medium mission again. They're just better. And because of that, we're going to go with this one because it's an explore mission. It's a little bit easier. And I'll just have to decide who to bring. We've got the pick to the face. Flashing daggers are not that. Throne dagger is fine. Yeah, this is good. We've got her. And then we can bring Cubone. No, well, we, we're going to bring Pond in front. Doesn't have a stun, but that's okay. We probably want our healer. Do you need to be? Where do you need to be? You're okay in second. You can't use the poison darts, but everything else, that's fine. So we'll bring uh q bone and this healer here so like this i think that's fine although adding stacking the blight would be nice now nah, i think i'm okay with this it's fine um yeah don't really want to go for any skills yet so we'll just Go into the mission right away. Uh, get eight. Go for three. Two, three. And then two stacks of torches. Well, let's go with four. Not too much. And I should take a look here. We definitely want to scout want the scouting stone. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, you got you got decent speed. Don't care too much about the other ones, though, right now. They're not that useful. Although, she's already slow. Might as well give her a little bit of protection. We reduce damage just a little bit. And everything else is fine, though. Although, nah, okay, that's not a debuff added in there. Let's go. Okay, that's a big dungeon. Now, Oren. We've got ourselves a locked display cabinet. Uh, might as well use a key. Yeah, that is surprisingly a big dungeon already. Not much we can do about that. That's a lot of stress, though. That was necessary. At least with this group, I should be a little bit better when dealing with... Um, wow, really? It's not like I could do anything about this. Uh, if I don't scout, we don't see the traps and we just run into them. It's still unfortunate. Um, with this group, I should have a better chance at actually dealing damage against the uh, stress dealers. Oh, some of those. That's not nice. Let's see what we can do here. Possibly just want to make sure that one in the back dies. That should do it. And could you just please not target the one that's already looking bad? That would be... Of course they all target her. Ah, that's so bad. And that's a stacked blight. Ah. That's so bad. Um... Yeah, that heal is not enough. She takes three per... No, two, actually. Okay, thank you. That's a miss. That one's dead. What about this one? This one is dead as well. Even though it's only a heal for one. Well, it's also, it also cures the blind. Uh, so that alone is worth it. Mm, this one is dead. Flashing daggers. 
That's better. There we go. Just one more. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay, we get that chance. Let's take it. He dodged. It dodged. Nice. We can do that too. At least it gives me another round of healing. So we're looking okay again on Vastel the Vestal. Really? The game was happy with that name. <laughs> that seems rather unlikely. Uh, Eldritch Altar. What do I need for that again? Holy Water to Perch a Negative Quirk. There we go. That seems reasonable. Mm, not that bad. This could be good to get rid of. Oh, I actually think I'm going to go with Cubon because we have a chance of getting rid of the Ottomanophobia. Um, although the Flawed Release is also bad. And Kleptomaniac. Let's go with Pigvini, I think. Both of these are bad and that way we're going to make sure that one of the bad ones gets purged. Okay, Flawed Release is gone. That's fine. Ah, Battle Respawned. No, that's fine though. They're not too bad. Still don't like this guy, I think. And with this... Well, it can't kill him, unfortunately. Let's make sure we can kill one of the ones in the front. If he doesn't deal enough damage, the Blight should be enough. Oh, and we've got Judgment on her as well. Well, in hindsight, I should have Blighted him. I forgot about... Uh, her having judgment. Uh, that was not quite enough. So he's gonna have one hit point left. But he's he's dead next turn, so I don't have to deal more damage to him now anymore. Could they? Could you please leave her alone? Thank you. Pretty please. Uh, kill this one. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay, he's dead. Uh, he doesn't have a stun, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have used that here to make sure that he can't attack us. But that's not too bad of too bad damage. Uh, we can heal. Nice. Good crit. Very valuable here. And there we go. So now he's, he's gone. One might argue that I should have... Uh, should have healed for one instead of doing that but it's okay just want to point out that that probably would have been better I just did not think about it at the time and what are we looking at here so it's pretty straightforward until we reach this point of course but once we are here there's a little, a little bit of variety of what um of what way I could go in case we scout something that I don't want to go through. Because all we need here is the rooms. It doesn't matter if it's room battles or not, so we could avoid those. Although, come on, always her. <laughs> that's the third trap that's hitting her. Um. <laughs> oh boy, okay, nice. Uh, plus five melee skills. That's fine, or 5% damage on melee skills. I can work with that. More scouts, so two fights here. No hallway. Oh, no room battles, though. Just hallways. Three maggots is fine. No, they have eight hit points, so my point that I tried to make that they have more hit points is actually wrong. The biggest crit I've ever seen. Resist the blight, though. Well, well, they've got 40% blight chance. So resist is not that good. To stun the grave nibble, the gravest of nibbles. Mortality Ouch! Clarified in a single strike. At least he resisted the stun. I think she just needs to focus on healing, though. Um, we're not healing for that much, and they are critting a lot right now and stunning on top of everything. Ugh. Well. At least I'm dealing enough damage to take them out with one hit. 
he could have survived. I'm happy that he didn't, but it could have happened. There we go, that's what was on the dock. He had just taken one before. Uh, who do I heal? Still ourselves, I think. Okay, nice. <laughs> well, depending on how much you, how much vodka you already drank, Cubone is no surprise that you wrote vodka as vok, vok, vokda. That's probably how you would say that then. Uh, so no one's blaming you. At least I'm not. Come on. Hey, we have has a map inside, so it's actually fine. Do I hear the ding? There's a lot of obstacles here. Wow, that's... That's an awesome map. That scouted everything for us. No secret room? Although that might still show up. Um, but yeah, we're probably gonna go... I don't know how we're gonna move. Depends. They're all just why Add some reward for a task well performed. All the kleptomaniacs and force cure interactions, so much fun. <laughs> um, I think it's fine. Go for the bone obelisk here. And so far. We're okay in terms of stress. It, I mean, it still doesn't really look good, obviously, but it could be a lot worse, I think. Uh, 7 to 14. There we go. 7 to 14 and then seeing a 14 is, is always nicer uh, than the alternative. Yeah, I'm making really, really competent sm uh, small talk today. Uh, that's what I'm all about, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you're kind of embarrassed of what you're saying yourself because it's just I don't know uh, do this and he's gonna die from the blight there we go let's just not speak of what I'm talking about and continue I guess sounds like a plan I thought so I can actually avoid every other fight now I think we should be able to finish this quest without fighting anymore but I'm okay with with going for more combat I think we're I'm just gonna let the the torch lad run low now and we're gonna camp once we get down to low and uh, yeah then we're gonna do the rest so let's go up this way first. Then I'm gonna backtrack. Ooh, that's medicinal herbs, isn't it? Yes, okay, nice. Mm, that's fine. And I'm just gonna let the, the, the torch light go out completely. I mean, I have only six torches left. And once I'm in this room, we're gonna camp. Oh, a fight respawned. Ooh, okay, let's do this differently. I'm gonna bring the torch lamp back up. And we're gonna do this different. That's good. Already down to four. He's still the one that I want to kill first, so if he gets blighted, he's toast. And we, there we go. So no stress. And then we have only the one bone rebel left. I'm still gonna heal, I think. Perfect. Well, that's kind of a perfect encounter. It's not like he can do anything to us. Uh, we didn't take any damage, and I got to heal a bunch of times. Well, if his initiative step is before ours, he might get to do more, but let's just assume it isn't, and it isn't, and I could have also gone for that. Them no quarter. And yes, all of that was supposed to make sense. I hope that it actually did. Uh, so the change of plan is, or the change change of plans is. Um, Even the cold stones. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, the Dungeon Boys. Passes. I'll try to keep you alive, and uh, I hope the next room. I, and good luck on on your 
um, on your playthrough. I hope you can can make it work. It's once you have the basic downs, it becomes a lot easier, and I'm sure you can get there. So, uh, good luck, I guess. <laughs> hey, always weird with them. I I just just to say that I think sometimes when I'm trying to talk to somebody here in chat. I come across as a little bit of awkward. Uh, I try not to, but uh, that's easier said than done. Um, so if I sound weird, just know that it's my because of myself and not because of you. Uh, so, anyways, uh, thanks for stopping by the Dungeon Boys, and see you next time. Uh, Altar of Light. Is that this? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, there we go. That's a buff. Really? Ah, I took the wrong buff there. Or the wrong target to use. With another scout. And that's what I meant. Because you can still scout a secret room later. And that's exactly what just happened. Uh, so we can go for that. The hunger tile. Okay, now we're gonna camp. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself against okay. the coming horrors. Um, self stress relief. Nope, nope. Increased scouting chance is pretty meaningless now. Uh, don't need anything here. I don't actually have a way of reducing her stress. Well, prey could be good. And let's go for Sanctuary just to prevent the nighttime ambush. Mm. Okay, nope, that could be bad. I don't know what. <laughs> Nothing's really that useful here um, anymore. Let's just go with. Uh, well, yeah, it's fine. Actually, just as I clicked it, I remembered. Oh yeah, that's only on him. I wanted to 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 reduce her stress a bit, or just reduce the stress she's gonna take. Um, yeah, we're gonna go this way first. That's, this is fine. Ah, this is less fine. At least she's using her stressful incantation. Actually, I don't need to deal damage with him. We, I, I for, actually forgot again that he is. Uh, he's got a stress heal unlocked, so I could reduce her stress. I should probably do that. Uh, we're gonna kill. Well, she's gonna try and deal damage there. And we're gonna kill this one. Not quite, but once he's dead, I'm gonna uh, start doing some stress heals here, I think. Okay, she's dead next turn. The push is meaningless. There we go. Uh, if that hits and actually deals damage, which it didn't, so we got light to. Uh, he would have died from the blight right away, so I had to put another attack in there, unfortunately. Um, might as well. I mean, I could could have gone for her damage, but it's okay. It's, we're not that reliant, and I'd rather keep the health high. Because he's not going to deal damage now. Still almost dead. And we're going to blight, I think. We want to cure the bleed, as little as that is. I just want to get one stress heal off, at least. If only the game would let me. <laughs> Thank you. It's not a lot, but... Well, I mean, nine is still fine. It could be way worse. Uh, let's just go in here one time, but we'll we'll loot it at the end, of course. 
actually I might maybe not want to go through everything here because I'm running low on torches. Which should be okay, but is potentially scary at least. Um, okay, I'll go for the goblet guy. The bone courtier first, because the tempting goblet is much more annoying. There we go. So he's down to four, which is enough already. So the courtier is dead. Yes. Nice. So we can focus on the cultist acolyte. And she's not quite dead yet next turn. I'll have to attack her one more time to make sure that she actually goes down. But that's also okay. There we go. With a crit, it's even better. A little bit of stress heal. And... Might as well go for this. I, we could have healed here for three, potentially, but I'm, I'm okay with... Um, let's cure the Glide now. And we'll just try to, to take him down quickly. Although I probably want to use his stress relief again. On her. Although she will have to go for stress relief anyways. Uh, yeah, I have another fight though. Yeah, let's let's go for her. That's okay. Cure okay, this. I'm letting letting this guy get in way more attacks than he, uh, he needs to get. But we're we're gonna finish him off now. Uh, he's gonna do one more stress heal. And she's going to use Judgment to kill him. There we go. Mm -hmm. And that's the quest done already. Uh, so we could leave if we want to. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I think I'd like to try and just see about the other rooms. At least the the one with treasure in it. We've got eight food left. We've got two torches left. That is what worries me. So I think we'll just go through the secret room. We'll take what's in there and then we'll move to the last room because there we've already scouted this so it doesn't use up as much. Um, there we go. Dismiss's hat. Nice. So it doesn't use up as much uh, light, because they're already, as I've said, they're, 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 I can't talk. Talking's hard, you know. <sighs> Hallways we've already gone through use up less light overall, a lot less. I think it's, yeah, one per tile instead of more. I don't know the actual value. But this is the last one that I want to really go for. And we'll ignore the stacks of books, of course. There's another hunger tile. But we can, we could deal with one more. Not that I really want to, but we could. Okay. Mm, these two being here and them being stressed, uh, them being stress dealers is not nice. Uh, ideally, we're going to kill one of them, though. So he's already dead. We might actually be able to kill both of them if we get lucky. Yep, they're both dead. Uh, both of them are gonna die to the blight. That's good. That's so good. So no stress damage for us. Well, crits. But dodges are better. Mm -hmm. Nice, that's one down. I should probably say that's three down. Nice crit. And he's dead as well. Bye bye. I don't have a key to open this, but I should be able to open it without... Nope, it's trapped. Of course it's trapped. We're, we're bleeding. But we're also gonna leave now. You know what, let's... Now I don't care too much about 
I need to see if there's gonna if there's fights gonna pop up. I doubt it, but it's not bad if if this drops down. Can't go for that, and I'd like to see the the curios. Um, just have to take or take a peek at the map and see if there's a random hallway fight spawning. Also, this was the last hunger tile, so I'm not gonna keep moving after this. Could have gotten us something. It didn't. Was worth a shot. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestors. But good money again. Beginning to feel familiar. It at least puts us at a good starting position. Irrepressible ruins adventurer. That's actually pretty good. Tucker Dowd is not that important. Her damage is not as important. And Warren scouting is fine. We dug for months, years, an eternity. And we ah, come on, really? Madness. We'll only meditate from now on. Unequip all trinkets. Looks so sad. But we've got our first good one here with this mess's head. Let's check this. Now that's awesome. That's good. We're going to take all of those. So still, if anybody wants to um, request a name, feel free to do so. We should check them first, still. Um, Thanatophobia is not nice. Shocker is pretty bad. That's good, though. I think we can live with that. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. These are fine. We've got a jester with shocker. Uh, which one would you like, Engatna? Uh, who would you like to be? Do you want to be a leper again? No, we don't have. We have only one leper right now, so you can't. You will be laughing um, still at the end. But basically, everything else is still available. Uh, sky chance. Yeah, all of these are fine. They're pretty decent. The thrill of the hunt. And now the we've got the nomad wagon, wagon, which I completely ignored on my first playthrough, and I'm probably still gonna trinkets do here. It could give us some decent trinkets, but they're expensive. The corners of the earth. And now I can actually get rid of something. So I think we'll just wait. Oh yeah. Well, treatment ward. We're gonna get rid of the kleptomaniac right away. Uh, I do have the money for that right now. Jester, please. Okay, that's fine. We can go for the Jester. Uh, and Gate now, one moment here. Let's remove that. Do I want to... Nah. Well, Warrior of Light could be awesome, but I'm just going to do that. And we need to keep upgrading here. If we can. We can't really right now. We could exchange stuff. Let's check that out. Um, I need deeds. So this is where I would get decent amount of deeds. So six... I need eleven deeds. No, that's too much. Can't really go for that. Uh, Jester. There we go. And Gigna. Let's sort by... Let's sort by stress, actually. Um, well, first of all, we need to do this. Hey, we've got our first boss available. Uh, not that I really want to do that one. At least not with the trinket that we have available there. Um... Yep, stress. Vestal. Uh, you are also kleptomaniac, really. And the ruminator is bad as well. Let's put you in here. Bachelor also will only meditate. Well, okay. I screwed myself out of that right now. Uh, can I... Hope, however desperate. Might be a little bit early for this, but I think I'm okay with that. Let's just upgrade this, bring her in there. And I could have saved some money if I had done that prior to that. Okay, we'll just go with this. 
thank you very much for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. If you want to catch me live on during one of my streams on Twitch, feel free to follow the link to my channel and follow me there to get notified when I stream. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel here if you haven't done so already. And then, because this is the end card in case you haven't noticed yet, here are two more uh, suggestions as to what else you could watch from me. And that's it. So, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.